Lucas Media, I swear I'm so mad after watching this video. I'm gonna play the video first and I'm gonna get my thoughts. I'm gonna try to be correct for YouTube. It's a three minute video, please skip through it if you wanna hear, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my opinions on this. That's mainly what I came to use them for. That's where mostly all of my favorite YouTubers are from. Well, I got so. Mr. Williams with the health department. Mm -hmm. We need to get you located. So tomorrow they're going to shut down this warming center. They're to, by noon it's tomorrow they're going to try to have most people out. I had no idea. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. what you're going to tell them. You need to start. You need a plan. Yeah. I'd like to. Yeah. I don't know what assistance I can do. Anything will help. Prayers and all. <laughs> because that's definitely what I do the most. <laughs> right. Yeah. You got transportation? No. You don't have transportation? No. <laughs> I don't. What are you going to do? They're the only thing that would make me go back home to my mom. Alabama? So, no, Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Yeah, if, if I feel like I'm putting too much on them with me being in struggle, but I'll you gotta, definitely you go gotta back have a plan to for tomorrow afternoon. I may have ask, uh, Sorry. Louis, get uh, Director Williams over here. Yeah. Please, sir. Yeah, because I had no idea Pull that this your, place was closing down. She got the three babies. They're from Florida. She doesn't have a plan after 12 tomorrow, so. So what we will do? We need to come up with a plan of action plan. Tonight, uh, I've asked staff to talk to everybody to get an idea of what the individual situation is so that we can start preparing for you know, a smooth transition. In this case, what we try to do is to find a nonprofit or someone that can work with one especially because it is a family. Yeah. So his staff's going to visit with you after a while to try to get a, a plan, but um, you need to work with them so they can have a place for the family to reside. And, and how'd you get here if you don't have a car? How'd you get from Florida? Well, um, as of right now, I get disability for my son, so um, I got a rental car and came down here. Yeah, car you from in Florida? Yeah, tell him. Uh, I know it, but... Yeah, but um, I was, uh, when I first got down here, I worked with Denny's for a while, uh -huh. and I just, you know, saved up enough of money to where we could um, live at the Punta the Hotel, uh -huh. but it just became too much after a while. Sure. Yeah. How did you know about this location? Um, I actually called 911. Did you? Oh. I did. I was here about it. But, um... You know, when it comes to my babies, I have to mm -hmm. do what know. you got to do. Yeah, I I have to look at every option because they come first, and mm -hmm. all of my decisions affect them. So I definitely felt and like that was the right decision. That's what got our attention. If, if it was just a grown up, we'd say we want to work with you. But with the babies, we're really focused. Mr. Williams got a very capable staff. They're going to work with you, so follow their directions. And, you and I can call up the staff. I've already talked to the staff a little bit about it. Okay. All right. So, just by watching the video, five seconds in the video, I see three young boys, and it looked like a, I don't know if it was a worker plan, but I don't know, or unless that's just another family member. But I see three small children um, with the sister. The first thing that pops in my head is where's their fathers at before we even go any further. Where's their fathers? Now, you can argue. You know, the men ain't there and this and third. But this somebody you, that has three children, that means that three different lives is dependent on you. Right. Even if the dad wasn't quote unquote ish. You as a mom should not throw everything away to try to become a social media influencer the way that you did. Ain't nobody knocking you for for your dreams, right? This, But this isn't 1980. You don't have to go to Houston, Texas 
to become an influencer. She says she's from Tallahassee, Florida. All you need is an iPhone. You don't even need an iPhone 14 or 15. You can upload yourself. It don't matter what phone you on. Upload it right online. And the thing that... So social media is a great thing that happened, right, for humanity. But it's also a, a terrible thing at the same time because... You have people, especially the younger generation, but this lady looks like she got to at least be in her 30s. I'm going to assume. You see four or five people online, right, with all these millions of followers, and you assume that you can do it. That's less than 1% of people. And even the people who have a lot of followers don't necessarily have or generate revenue off of that. Now... And as a grown adult and a mother of three, and it appears again, you're doing it by yourself. Where's your responsibility to be like, you know what? I got these three boys. That's not necessarily the best thing. I really don't have no plan like that. I just want to move to Houston to be a social media influencer. You couldn't have caught the Greyhound deer once every other, once a month, once every two, three months to network if you need to. And these people, and I have to tell my kids this because my kids are, are are coming into adults. Things don't happen overnight. Whenever you see people blow up like that, either they got a bag behind, a machine behind them, a, who drop who's dropping some money, or they just a one off and and they have these looks that the world, everybody be like, oh man, you know they easy on the eyes, but the the regular people. We got to grind it out. It, it's going to take me years to get to where I want to get to. And I had to tell one of my daughters that, like, yeah, when you graduate from college, you ain't going to necessarily make $150,000 out the gate. That takes time. And this woman had no game plan, it appears. Just went there on a hope and a dream. And check this out. If she didn't have any children, wouldn't nobody say anything. But when you have kids... It's not about you no more until they become adults. It's about them. You should have thought about them. But we live in a society now, especially in our community, where we're so selfish and we think about us. No, it's about sacrificing. I got three. Like I said, I have three children. I had them young. I put a lot of my dreams to the side and worked almost 20 years to make sure that they went to pretty good schools and... They all had, you know, decent clothes and you try to give them game. You think I sat here and was like, you know what? I'm going to build my YouTube channel. Forget these kids. I I'm just going to try my dreams. Like you. And then she said, if it gets real bad, you should go home. No, you should have went home when you lost that job at Denny's. But then I'm, I'm, I'm questioning, where's the people around her? You know, where's her father to tell her it's not a good idea? Where's these boys daddy's at to come get these kids from her? So what you really see is this complete chaos with her, them kids' daddies. More than likely some of her elders. You just saw a whole pool of, of chaos. And I'm trying to be as... as Politically correct, I can on here, and and atone my my rhetoric down because this type of stuff breaks my heart. This is traumatizing. No small children should have to go through this, and we all come on hard times, right? I'd have been on hard times as an adult. My mom struggled uh, with a drug addiction in the, in the nineties when we was living in Milwaukee, and we was in a rehab home. I remember that. You know, she fortunately overcame it, but we all come on hard times, but you don't quit your situation. Wherever you was at in Florida, you don't up and leave that to move somewhere to become a social media influencer. And you have not one, not two, but three children. And in that video, it appeared to be three small children. And you could tell the people in the interview who was interviewing was... <laughs> 
they really you you want to say stuff, but you can't because then you have people be like, "Oh man, why you why you saying that? You how dare you say something? No, we should be able to say stuff like this. We're not talking about people be, not being perfect and making mistakes, but you have to plan things out thoroughly. The most successful people they have a three year plan, five year plan, a ten year plan, even a fifty year plan for their grandchildren, and they're working. 14, 15, 16 hours a day. Everybody just just do the social media. People just feel like they're an overnight star. Mr. Beast worked for years before he blew up, and now he a billionaire off YouTube. But you know how many years it took for him to grind? So I don't know. I just I if y'all want me to go deeper on Patreon, let me know in the comment section. You know, it just broke my heart when I watched this. But tell me what y'all think.